Welcome to the Awaken, Heal, and Thrive podcast. This episode is called The Spiritual Cure for Societal Discord. I'm Benjamin Bernstein, and this episode is sponsored by my book and audiobook, the number one Amazon bestseller called Instant Divine Assistance, your complete guide to fast and easy spiritual awakening, healing, and more. Just go to Amazon and search for Instant Divine Assistance or click the link in the show notes. I publish both audio and video versions of Awaken, Heal, and Thrive, so take your pick. The video versions are on my YouTube channel called Benjamin Bernstein Podcasts. I drop new episodes of this podcast twice a month. Be sure to subscribe to Awaken, Heal, and Thrive wherever you get it. And if you have not already, be sure to click the link in the show notes for a free chance to win a full year of my Awakening Plus online membership. I announce a new winner every month. In fact, I announce our March 2024 winner later in this episode. Keep your ears peeled if you've entered. So, the spiritual cure for societal discord. I'm going to base this idea on the levels of human development from really self-centered to really universal. So let me lay out what those are. First is egocentric identity. This is the most self-centered level where one's identity is solely based on personal gain, desires, and experiences. Second is ethnocentric identity. At this level, identification extends to individuals who share similar cultural, ethnic, or national identities. And I'm going to extrapolate on this a little bit. This is the level where racism and caste come into play. In fact, I was inspired to do this episode after reading Isabel Wilkerson's latest book. She is best known for her first book, which won the Pulitzer Prize. It's called The Warmth of Other Suns. It describes the great migration of blacks from the South to other regions of the United States. In her latest book called Caste, that's C-A-S-T-E, The Origins of Our Discontents, Wilkerson compares and contrasts the caste systems of three different cultures, the United States, India, and Nazi Germany. Both her books are extraordinary, and I enthusiastically recommend them both. Anyhow, that's an extrapolation on level two. As I said, that relates to ethnocentric identity, which relates to cultural, ethnic, or national identities. But there's more. Third level is sociocentric identity. Here, the sense of self includes identification with larger groups or society as a whole. Level four is global or world-centric identity. This level transcends national or cultural identities and includes a concern for all human beings and the planet itself. Five, cosmocentric identity. At this stage, identification expands to include all life forms and the cosmos, recognizing the interconnectedness of all things. And finally, six is universal consciousness. This is the broadest level of identification, where one experiences a profound connection with the entire universe and all of existence. This is often associated with spiritual or mystical experiences. These levels represent a spectrum of how individuals relate to themselves and the world around them, moving from narrow self-interest to a broad, inclusive awareness. The journey through these levels can be seen as a path of personal and spiritual development. I first really got turned on to this idea of progressive levels from Ken Wilber. He's developed his idea quite beyond where it was when I first discovered it, but big kudos to Mr. Wilber for uh, turning me on to this kind of thinking. So let's extrapolate a little bit. Right now in the U.S. and across the world, there's a lot of conflict based on me versus other. This is a lot of this level two level. Uh, you're a different race than me. You're a different nationality than me. You're a different culture than me. And it seems like a lot of the argument is based around this level. So I'm not going to propose that the entire world pick up spiritual awakening practices so they can rise to the levels beyond level two. However, it is inherent to each of us to do what we can if we're interested in creating a more harmonious earthly existence. So for you, since you're watching this podcast, I'm taking a wild guess that you have some level of interest in spirituality and awakening. So just know that the deeper you awaken, the more you will naturally rise through these levels of identification. Uh, as you begin having unity experiences of, wow, I am the earth, I am the universe, and similar awakenings. You'll go way beyond identifying simply as a human and ultimately can identify as all that is at sixth level that was referred to. So in your own journey toward diminishing racism or casteism, which is deeply enculturated in most of us, and we might be holding some of these attitudes and biases without even realizing it, we'll start to identify where we're holding these and be able to move past them. As far as the larger world, it's up to the society itself and the societies. 
the view I'm taking these days is I'd love to see a golden age come and you know lift all of us into a utopia. My current view is that it's a free will zone and the golden age is not a predestined thing. My thinking is the higher consciousness that created Earth is happy to let things play out and see what we humans choose to do. And since each one of us influences all others, just know that your personal journey toward deeper awakening, toward moving beyond the limitations of identifying people by race or caste or nationality or any other division that we perceive, and the more you recognize not only that this other person is equal to you and just as valid, but actually starting to have a unity experience, that person is me. I love to quote this story I heard about the great Indian guru, Ramana Maharshi, where one of his followers said, oh, great guru, what do we do about other people? And he said, there are no other people. And implied in that is the realization that we are all of it. There's only one consciousness that enjoys playing by separating it out into different consciousnesses. And those consciousnesses temporarily getting amnesia and forgetting their unity, and then they work their way back to unity again. So it's a tricky thing, uh, especially here on Earth at this point in history. However, your own journey toward greater unity, greater realization of which you really are but just forgot, is going to move you beyond racism and beyond casteism and beyond all these lesser levels of level six to realizing just the oneness of all of it. Now, I'm in no way claiming that I'm locked in at level six, far from it, but I'm working my way up the levels and doing the best I can to move toward that greater unity of realization. So my advice here is to do the best you can to hold the highest consciousness you can. It will spread subtly and be of service in a subtle way. And of course, each of us is called to serve if we're called to help the earth move toward this greater unity, this greater harmony, this greater peacefulness. Each one of us will do that in a different way. There is no one rubber stamp prescription, I believe. Each of us has a particular assignment. And the more we awaken, the more we're going to get those downloads. Our own inner guidance will suggest to us service opportunities. And then if we choose to take them, we can activate more and more and do whatever our little niche role is to help that along. You know, there's a huge number of light workers here on the planet. So all of it doesn't fall on your shoulders. I always recommend just do the part that you're here to do. And don't worry too much about the rest. There's other light workers, other service beings who are going to carry everything else. So I hope you find those thoughts helpful. Again, beyond racism, beyond casteism, beyond division is a shift of consciousness. And even if you have the best intentions in the world, if you're still stuck in a lower consciousness, if you yourself are still divided in consciousness, if you're still perceiving yourself as a separate being, that will inevitably color your attempts at service. Do what you can with what you got, by all means. But just know that a huge part of your service is your continued self-development, your continued healing, your continued awakening, and that will vastly expand your service capacity and make you far more effective. Also, as I mentioned earlier, the 15-word title of my book is Instant Divine Assistance, Your Complete Guide to Fast and Easy Spiritual Awakening, Healing, and More. In this breakthrough book, learn how easy it can be to experience spiritual awakening within seconds just by requesting it from your higher self quickly and permanently heal a serious challenge, even one that's caused you years of physical, emotional, or mental suffering by delegating the work to your inner healer. You can call in any kind of energy you want, anytime you want it. Heal and bless others simply by calling it in and being a hollow reed. Thrive in a new normal of harmonious living, enhanced intuition, joyous fulfillment of your responsibilities and bliss. And you can do all this and more with the instant divine assistance invocations. This book gives you everything you need to master them. Plus, you get free access to guided recordings and other valuable online support that will speed up your personal evolution. For more than 13 years, the IDA invocations have dramatically improved thousands of people's lives. Isn't it time you also experienced how quick and easy spiritual awakening, healing, and so much more can be? If you like to listen, my audiobook is free if you're not yet an Audible member. Instant Divine Assistance is also available as an ebook, paperback, and hardcover. Click a link in the show notes to check it out on Audible or Amazon or read it in Kindle Unlimited. Also, would you like to speed up your healing and awakening as part of an uplifting community with hundreds of dedicated awakeners? Then check out Awakening Plus, the online membership that can put your personal transformation into high gear. 
You can choose from about a dozen Zoom calls every month, as well as an ever-expanding archive of more than 650 events that can profoundly change your life, even if you only do the recordings and never do a live Zoom call. In fact, most of our members play it that way. You'll also benefit from three major courses and much more to help you awaken, heal, and thrive. To find out more, click the link in the show notes or visit awakeningplus.com. That's awakeningplus.com. I mentioned at the top of the show, I'm announcing our free membership winner to Awakening Plus for March. This is, I think it's pronounced Rim, R-Y-M, an unusual first name and the only person with that first name who has registered. So if that's you, Rim, hey, give me an email, benjamin at astroshaman.com, and I'll set you up with your free one-year membership to Awakening Plus. Congratulations. And to you also, who is not Rim, thanks for being here. Once again, I'm Benjamin Bernstein, and we're wrapping up. Please leave me a five-star rating, review, or comment wherever you're getting this episode so others can also awaken, heal, and thrive. And be sure to click the link in the show notes for a chance to win one free year of my Awakening Plus online membership. Thanks again for spending this time with me. I wish you infinite blessings.